Hello, Prep Doggers. Today we're going to talk about three-dimensional shapes. We've already talked about two-dimensional shapes that have height and width, and now we're going to add depth to it. These are three-dimensional, height, width, and depth. You are three-dimensional. You have height, you have width, and you have depth. So let's take a look at the basic three-dimensional shapes that you will find in math. This one is very familiar. You put ice cream in it. It's called a cone. It has a circular bottom, and then everything comes to a point, the cone. The next one is familiar, too. looks like a box. It's called a cube. All right, it looks like an ice cube. After that, we have a rectangular prism. You can see there are rectangles here, and it is shaped uh, like a box. It's a shoebox, if, if you will. Rectangular prism. Now, this is very familiar. It's the pyramid. Pyramids have a square bottom on them and then four triangles that go up to a point and make a pyramid. They're famous from Egypt, as you know. This is a round ball. It's a sphere. A sphere is round. It's like a ball. Right? It's not a circle, but it's a sphere. It goes all the way around because it has depth. This is a can. We call it a cylinder. All right, and it has an interior side, it has depth to it. Cylinder. This is called a triangular prism. As you can see, there's a triangle right here. These are rectangles, but this side makes it into a triangle. So it is a triangular prism. Now, let's try a little quiz on this. Try to pick out where these words are going to go before they go there. See if you can identify where the word is going to go. Ready? Go. Where is it going to go? What place is it going to stop at? Very good. Where is the pyramid word going? Excellent. Where is that rectangular prism? Clear down there. Triangular prism? Where is it? Ah, right across. Where is the cube? Down there? Nope. Up there. And the sphere? All right. These are your basic shapes. And you need to learn them, just like you learned your two-dimensional shapes. You will run into them in math. 